Okay, I'm going to just do a quick EDC video of what I carry on a daily basis. Sometimes this will switch up depending on the day, depending on if it's summer or winter. This is what I was carrying today. Maybe I'll do another video with some of my other carry options in the future. I'll go pocket by pocket just so you kind of see. This is typically what I carry. Just wearing a t-shirt. Right pocket, always carry a knife. This happens to be a Benchmade. It's a nice knife. Uh, this knife does have a quick release. So you do want to double check to make sure that that's legal in the, whatever state you reside in. A buddy of mine got it engraved for me. He actually bought me this knife. It says brother on it, which is nice. The steel on this knife's really good. They have a lifetime warranty, so you can send them back to Benchmade and they'll sharpen them for you, which is nice. I typically say you at least want to carry one good quality pocket knife. A lot of other knives I'll carry is like Kershaw. They make a good knife, a little bit smaller, but this Benchmade's one I, I typically carry. Always carry some type of flashlight. This is the Baton 2 Olight. These are great. They uh, have a magnet to charge, which is awesome. And this runs around 60 bucks, so it's not too bad. I have a bunch of these laying around. It has a moon setting, uh, another brighter setting, and then the brightest setting. And then also does a strobe setting, which is nice. So the Olight, Olight makes a good product in, in, in general. I also carry just a little box cutter, a uh, Gerber. This Gerber is the Gerber gear. It's about, I wanna say 25 bucks. As I said, it is a box cutter, so you can change out the blade, which is nice. I use this a lot. I use this for opening mail, uh, boxes, packages, things like that. It's nice, you can just throw it in your gym shorts, you can throw it on your sweatpants. So a lot of times, maybe I'm not walking around the house with the Benchmade, but I will have the Gerber gear on me almost all the time. Always carry some chapstick, especially in the wintertime. It's winter here right now. And uh, Liz Tech, pretty standard. I like to carry some write, sort of writing utensil. This pen is the bullet bullet pen. It's uh, a bullet, I think it's called Bullet Space. It's small, which is really why I like it. It's really concealable. They do have a clip for it that you can utilize, but I love this because it is small, but if you take the cap off, it goes into a full full size writing pen. I also carry another pen sometimes, which has one of those glass breakers on the back. It's a little bit bigger. It can be utilized as also a kind of a defense weapon if you needed to. Um, I'm not I'm not using that right now. A lot of times I just carry this because I have a bunch of other stuff. But that pen's also nice. Um, but yeah, the bullet pen it's a great pen. I use that a lot at restaurants when I'm signing my check and things like that. I always carry some type of uh, fire on me. This happens to be a Zippo. These zippers are nice. The only thing with the Zippo is that you do need to make sure it's full every morning. I also carry matches sometimes. I have a little matchbox case that I use. The nice thing about matches is you don't have to worry about them being full. However, if you just take a habit of checking to make sure your zipper's working, you're usually pretty good. These inserts are nice because you can just buy the insert off of Amazon for like 10 bucks and change them out. You don't have to worry about changing the wick and the flint and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of these. My grandfather used to be really into Zippos, so he kind of got me into these. So some Fuego. Is there anything in that pocket? Oh, this is pepper spray. So um, you're probably wondering why does he carry pepper spray? I just think it's it's I think it's it's POM POM pepper. The reason I carry it is you really shouldn't try to resort to a lethal means of defending yourself unless you're in a life-threatening situation. For the most part, on a daily basis, if you ever run into anything, I think. This or diffusing the situation will work just as well and keep you out of a lot of legal trouble. So these, this POM pepper spray is nice because it does have a safety cap. You'd have to flick this up and then press the button to spray. So it can just be in my pocket and not spraying anybody. But I think if you're gonna if you're gonna carry a firearm, you should also have a, 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 a another means of non-lethal deterrent. So that's everything in my right pocket. Oh, on the back here, I carry, it's, it has a carabiner on it. So that's how I had it, but sometimes I'll just clip it in my pocket. This is the Leatherman Skeletal. These are nice because it's really thin, uh, low profile. I know the Wave has more tools in it, but for the most stuff, I really just need pliers and a sc screwdriver, nice size screwdriver. Also has a bottle opener on here. The knife on here is actually a pretty good knife. Nice thing is you can access it from the outside without opening it up and getting into the pliers. Nice little design on it. It's pretty good steel. It's pretty sharp. Then once you open up the tool itself, you get into a nice set of pliers wire cutters, 
you have your screwdriver there, interchangeable bit, so you just press on here, you flip it over for, for a different size bit, and then it also stores a bit on here, which is nice, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but just stores it right in there, so you can buy different bits from, from Leatherman, and maybe you have, maybe you need just a big bit um, tool kit, you can buy that there and then change it out on your skeletal tool. I like this a lot. Uh, I use this pretty much daily as well. Left side of my pants are my keys. I typically my cell phone, but I'm using my cell phone right now to um, film this video. Keys are pretty simple, except for the fact I have a lot. I have a motorcycle key and a couple different car keys on here. I do like these keys because it has the, the COPPA quick, quick release kind of organizer so you can break it down into different two sets if you want or, or, of keys depending on what you have. I have an, another little O-Lite on here. It's the key O-Lite, which is cool. Um, this also is nice because it is rechargeable as well. Just a little USB there. And then it's not quite as bright as my baton, but as you see, it gives you a little moon setting and then the brighter setting if you need it. On here also is my key organizer. These, these are nice. This is Orbit Key, I wanna say. Pretty sure. Yeah, Orbit Key. And it just organizes your house keys, keeps from scratch up your cell phone, things like that, which is nice. Also on here is my other multi-tool, and this one I actually probably use more than the Skeletal tool, to be honest with you. It's not a Leatherman, it's called the Leatherman Squirt. Nice thing about this is it does give you a little more options, but it's very small and compact. Uh, file on here, another little pocket knife on here. You have two sets of screwdrivers on here, as you can see. And of course, a pair of scissors. And then when you break it out, you get into pliers and wire cut, a little bit smaller frame. But I love this squirt, it's so small. It goes on my keychain or slips in your pocket. I use that a lot, actually. So that's the key setup. My back pocket, it's pretty standard, just a leather wallet. Um, I know it's not an EDC wallet. A lot of people like a summer profile in their wallets. I, I carry a lot of stuff in there. I carry like business cards and I have my uh, concealed carry permit and access to my gun club, things like that. So I use a more of a standardized wallet. The watch is just a G-Shock watch. I'm not gonna take it off, but the nice thing about this G-Shock is it has timer and stopwatch and things like that on it. Um, it's water resistant up to like 200 meters. So G-Shock's a nice watch, won't, won't break the bank on you. Back pocket. I do think if you're gonna carry a firearm, you should carry some, just some medical gear. Um, this stuff, this quick clot, you know, once again, it's just pretty basic, but it can help if ever you or your family members or someone around you is in kind of dire need. And then our rat tourniquet as well. You don't need to be an EMT or have a lot of medical experience to learn how to use these use these products. I just think if you're gonna be carrying a firearm, you probably should at least carry some medical gear as well, just some of the basic stuff. And it doesn't take up much room. Then finally, oh, okay. The gun, everyone's interested in the gun. Um, the belt, it's one of those core belts. It's the ratchet system belt, which is nice. The nice thing I like about the core belt is they make it in leather. They make a really nice leather one too. So um, I work in kind of a professional environment. So sometimes I can't wear like a tactical belt. I can wear these belts and they make it in leather and they're really nice. The ratchet system's nice, the buckle's nice. They're gonna run you about like 50 bucks, but it's really nice. It has a little mechanism here where you can just loosen it up. So maybe get in your car or something and you don't want it to be real tight to you and you can just kind of push out your holster. Um, these quarry belts, I, I definitely recommend them. The gun itself, <clears throat> is in a hidden hybrid holster. And the nice thing about this is it has a leather backing to it. So it's a little bit more comfortable and form fitting. And then the hard, hard front. And as you see, the retention's great in it, slides in. I got it actually from Hidden Hybrid because they customized also for the flashlight. So you put a flashlight on this. As you can probably see, this is a Glock 19 in here. I don't always carry the Glock 19, but when I do, I, I carry it in this, this holster. Um, my Glock 19, as I mentioned, does have a light on it. Safety check. As you can see, I'm safe. On here also is the O-Light. I love these little O-Lights. Also has the magnet. 
Um, there's other gun lights out there. I happen to like this one because of the easy attachment to it. You can just clip it on and then um, you just press this down and it's secure. It's pretty bright. Uh, I can't remember the exact lumens that it gives out, but it's, it's a bright light. It's a good light. It's sturdy, I haven't had any issues. On the gun itself, as you can see, Trujicon sights, the um, night vision ones, they're great. They're pretty high profile, so you can, if you needed to rack on something, you can use the sight to do that. They are a little more expensive, about like 120, but a good pair of sights, especially with Glocks. As you know, Glocks don't have the best out of the box sights. So those are really the only mods is the sight, the O-Lite, and then like a back panel and a plug on it. But, oh, the Fox Grip too. I have these Fox Grips. They're nice, it's, it's, you get them off Amazon, they're relatively cheap, installs real easy. It's not stippled, but it still gives you a little bit better grip than what the manufacturer is, and it hasn't worn off or anything on me, so we'll see how it goes. I've had them on for about three months or so, but it's a nice little setup, and that's my carry option. That's everything I carry. Maybe I'll do another video of uh, some of the other firearms I sometimes carry and some of the other options I do, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.